In Microsoft OneNote, you can create custom menus and uh, customize the quick access toolbar as well. Let's start with the quick access toolbar and over here at the top, you can see that there's undo and back. But if you have to go over here, you can see that there are some other options you can work with. For example, you got the print. So if I were to click that, that has appeared right here. You go to redo, the redo menu is there right, uh, right now. There's the forward menu as well. If you want to disable it, just click it out and the print is disabled as you can see right, right there. You can also go over here. There's the touch and mouse mode. So if you were to go over here, this is the mouse mode. You go here, then there's the touch mode with a larger space, just like that. Go to mouse mode, uh, then there's the smaller space. You go over here, there are even more commands that you can choose from. So you can go to more commands and you can select the com commands that you want. So these are the popular commands. And if you want to see all of the commands, simply go over here into all commands and you can select the command uh, that you wish to add in. For example, you want to add an insert date, add it in, press OK and the insert date command is here in uh, the quick access toolbar. You can also go over here and then you can go for so below the ribbon so that the quick access toolbar is below the ribbon right here. Let me just keep it at the top itself so above the ribbon uh, is turned on. You can also create custom um, access toolbars, customized menu. In order to do that, just go to file, options and over here we can go to Quick access toolbar, as we saw here, or we can go to customize ribbon. So we're, go we're gonna create a new ribbon right here. So here you can see that there's the list of ribbon. You can customize these as well, but I'm going to create a new tab itself uh, right here. And I'm going to rename it into tutor tube. So I'm going to say tutor tube right here. I'm going to press okay. And over here you can see that there are groups. So I can simply add in the command that I want. For example, let's say I want to add in the copy command so that's the copy and uh, I want to rename this group as well. So I'm going to rename the subgroup as uh, custom. Let's press OK. And I'm going to choose uh, all commands right here. So let us select the command that, that we want. For example, link. Let's add that in as well. So let me just add that in. So copy and link command is there. And next week command. All right. So I'm going to add that in as well. And I can also create a new group. So I'm going to go for new group. I can rename that out. So I'm gonna say new group, just like this. Go for an icon right here, according to what I want, press okay. And I can start adding in more command. For example, section and tag. All right, so let's just press okay. And you can see that the new tab is here. And there's the custom tab where I have my copy link and next week and the new group where there's section and tag. I can also right click and then go to customize uh, the ribbon right here. I can go that uh, go to that menu through any of my tag right here. I can just, just right click, go to customize the ribbon and you get that option. So that is how you can create custom menus and um, work with quick access toolbar inside of Microsoft OneNote. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.